Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. Today we are going over my Ghosty Gize deck. Now before someone loses their mind thinking, Whoa, Gize is back, it's now insane again, premium is over. Chill. Gize decks are a massive meme in 2021. They aren't any good. But I figured since we are going for memes, you might as well take it to the maximum meme. And what's more meme than geese? Well, go see geese. Now this deck did get a massive upgrade from the clan selection volume one. If you still need to pick up anything from clan selection or even over just by the way, you can go to 50cards.shop and use the code solemn to get some percentages off. And I did actually play this particular deck also on my stream. So if you haven't followed that yet, the stream schedule is like Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, always at 9 Brussels time. So we start off with our grade 3. We have 4 Beatrice. This is the reason the deck is even able to exist, you know. There's no point in playing Ghosties before this card, you know. Ghosties don't have any inherent plusing or powers or, or shield, nothing. You know, they are a cool deck with some multi-attacks, but there's no point in them as far as the Geese archetype goes. However, what this card does for this deck is absolutely amazing. So first of all, you have your Soul Blast skill. This is crucial because that means when you ride to grade three first, you already go plus one. A lot of your cards will let you draw or even they can just be interceptors. Speaking of interceptors, her second skill is actually also really good in this deck. All of your units with Ghosty in their card names get intercept, but also 5k shield. Now they also gain power, but that's really irrelevant. It's about that shield. Because this means Ghosty cards that were previously, you know, pretty alright, now are suddenly even better in a control deck like Geese. Beyond that, since you are giving any Ghosty intercept, Guess what Ghosty has a lot of shield? Our heal. So now suddenly you can revive your heal trigger and it will be a 25k interceptor. Now this doesn't always come up, but sometimes it does. And last night on stream, it really did. It really mattered. Now its final skill is not that crucial. When your rearguard is retired by a card's ability, counter blast one and you can revive a Ghosty. There's really only in one interaction where this matters. And that is if you go first, you ride Beatrice, you revive a ghost chip which attacks kills itself and you draw a card upon killing itself you can then cb1 to replace it with a grade one ghosty that has 10k shield but now 15k shield and can intercept so you are getting an extra plus that can intercept that way but beyond that one interaction we don't really use this last skill now if that is not enough yet Beatrice also gives us one more interaction, and that is the Lily play. What you can do is, when your opponent is attacking you, you G-guard into Negro Lily, you pop one of your own units, you revive Beatrice, which is a ghost team, so you can, Soul Blast one with her, and then revive a Cannoneer, which then lets you nuke something on your opponent's board. So you have your own Denial Griffin in Ghosty Geese. So as you can see, there are four things that this girl can actually do for us that makes this deck just from tier 65 memes to tier 3 memes. Moving into grade 2s, because yes, we don't need any other grade 3s. You know, a lot of Grand Blue decks are always forced into running 4 Skull Dragon, 1 Nightstorm because they're trying to be aggressive, but this deck doesn't have to. So for grade 2s, we have 4 Columbard. This is still the best ride target ever. You know, you ride 1, CB1, get yourself whatever you need given the matchup. Maybe you need a Honoli. Pop that Honoli. Maybe you need a Ripple Banshee. Get that Ripple Banshee and so forth. It's almost always going to be a plus one to hand. Maybe a plus one to field. Again, just depends on what you need. For Greed Shade, this lets you recycle anything, which is again insane. Columbard plus Greed Shade essentially reads, get anything you want to your hand. And that is really, really good. Greed Shade is the best card ever printed. And the only reason it has never come up is because Grand Blue never gets insane cards. Then we have two Skeleton Cannoneer. Again, it lets you plus. It turns CB into card draw and... It pops stuff, so if there's crucial units, you get rid of them. And you can do the Lily play that we just spoke of. Two, Ghost Chip, because yes, we do want to draw cards. Our Ghost Chip is a pretty good one for that. The Days of Geese, you know, damage denying. It's still a thing, but it really depends on, you know, your opponent's board and what their deck can really do with damage. Moving into the grade ones, we have four Tommy the Ghosty Brothers. We do need this card because, well, we only have four grade threes. But more importantly, actually, it's also a Ghosty. So it's no longer 10k shield. It is now 15k shield. That's right, all 
of your V grade 1 ghosties essentially turn into triggers when it comes to shield. That is why Guy's ghostie, you know, at least makes sense to an extent as a concept because of Beatrice. Beatrice makes all of these ghosties just huge. Now we have for Pat the ghostie. Actually, I already ran Grand Blue Guy's before as a big meme and that deck already ran Pat. Pat lets you guard from drop zone with him defensively. Now this means you are no longer actually weak to Diablo. If you don't know, Shadow Paladin always memed onto Geese because Geese would go into their final Geese form and then Diablo would automatically win the game every time because they can't guard from hand and G Guardians aren't live. However, Pat guards from drop zone. So when you are on Geese and your opponent Diablos you, swing for 36 or maybe it's 46, it doesn't really matter. You just go, oh, here's my uh, four Pat the Ghosties. I am now a 90,000 power Good luck bursting through it. Beyond that, it's also just nice to have, you know, go into your Obadiah stride, you mill all of your pats out of your deck, and now you just have that insurance policy. Do note that this only works when your opponent's Vanguard is attacking, so it's not always the best thing to use. Also note, however, that Beatrice again adds 5k shield to pat. So now you have a 20k guard that comes from your drop zone. So basically you set up those four and you are basically safe from vanguard attacks for the rest of the game usually. Next up we have four Cyril the ghosty. This one gets shield when you have an oven drop which is not that hard and since it's a ghosty, it again gets shield from Beatrice. So this is a 25k shield grade one, just like that. Once again, this ghosty geese meme just gets better because of the amount of tankiness that's going on. Not only from ghosties by themselves, but also Beatrice just tying it all together. It's almost as if they planned Beatrice to exist at some point and all of the cards up to this point were designed with that in mind it's absolutely nutty now we have two ripple banshee because we do want to be able to draw cards and one honolly so this was actually not part of the stream deck and i really really noticed that i wanted to have it on stream so we threw it in here you can always find it off anything with columbard or your obadiah funnily enough actually on stream my opponent did a 11 attack glorious reigning dragon onto my ghosty geese deck and as you know geese has no defensive trigger so you would think oh that kind of sucks you're about to die automatically no no even without honolly this deck live through an 11 attack glorious reigning turn no defensives and he hit the over trigger that gave two boys a hundred million. And this deck still just lived through it. <laughs> because it doesn't give a fuck. That's how good this deck is. Actually, I think I even had like two extra interceptors left. So I could have lived through a 13 attack glorious reigning turn without any offensive triggers. And an over trigger of two hundred million. That is how tanky this deck is. Absolutely insane. Then we have one Grenache. Because we do want to be able to counter charge from time to time. And one Chappy the Ghosty. So this will basically fetch you anything you want. You can also recycle it with Nora. So then you can fetch even more you want. So you can filter your deck, hit triggers more easily, and it's a ghosty. Once again, you have 15k shield instead of 10k shield. Then we get into our trigger lineup. If you thought that everything in Ghosty Geese so far was all very smart memes and innovation, Check this out. First of all, we have for Chad the Ghosty, which is our premium collection crit. And of course, that's just a good card by itself. But because it's a Ghosty, it is now a 20k shield crit. We are running one Banshee premium collection crit. The reason for this is that it does let you draw. And it's the only card that really like turns into soul as easily. So it's good to be able to recycle, essentially. You can put it into soul. You can blast it back out with something else. Draw some cards. Revive it again. Put it into soul again. And you just keep that going. So I did want to have one of that. But then we get to more spice. We are running three of this draw trigger ghosty from back in G. Now, in any regular deck, you don't really want to run G triggers all that often because, you know, the, the worst power gains. But in a geese deck, you're not getting power anyway. Now, another reason that draw triggers in geese were always, you know, they were necessary, but you didn't like them that much is because they only have 5k shield. However, this is ghosty geese. We don't follow the rules. Beatrice turns our draw trigger into 10k shield, just like that. So we don't have the bad part of not getting enough power because we just don't get power. And we have a 10k shield draw trigger, just like that. Then we are running four draw PG and four heals, of course, Rick the ghosty. So not only can this just G guard, but it can also be a 25k shield. So on my stream yesterday at one point, I just revived this with Obadiah knowing next turn I'm going to intercept for 25k because that's important, you know, you can deck out with this deck quite often and that sucks. You don't want to deck out, but because of all the draw triggers you're forced to run, you could. So on your last try turn, very often you're like, damn, if I start reviving stuff that actually pluses my hand, 
I am drawing cards or even milling with Greed Shade, I will deck out. So instead, you revive really big interceptors that are still pluses, that will still let you survive without decking you out. So I was very happy with my 25k shield intercepting Rig the Ghosty right there. Really amazing card. And then finally, we also have our Neon Geese, of course, as our actual starter. Then for our G-Zone, we have our three Obadiah, which is just the stride you will go into every single time, except for, but we'll get to that. Uh, that is the best stride. You can mill all of your pieces to do your Lily plays. You can mill all of your Pat the Ghosties. You can basically mill everything, increase your odds of trigger, revive a full field also very important about geese in grand blue actually the first stride obadiah if you're given first stride usually sucks balls because he only revives two because there's only one phase up in g zone from his own flip so that's bad right however neon gize goes to g zone and so automatically after obadiah's flip you have two phase up giving you four revives from the get-go. So Obadiah actually gets better in Geese. Now we are also running one of the older Obadiah. The reason is simple. If we are not being given any damage for some weird reason, at least we can still do something. And he can revive a normal Ghosty. Now, back in the day that sucked because all normal Ghosties sucked. But this includes Beatrice. So you can simply revive a Beatrice of this Obadiah. And then after that, the Beatrice can literally revive anything. Now do note you have to mill two hollow units with that so you have to choose the grenache and the cannoneer and otherwise that doesn't work but you know it's not a big deal it almost never comes up we are also running one bad bounty in case you need extra drive checks you know if you notice like damn i can't keep this game going for long enough i need to see those triggers Here's your extra drive checks. And since Beatrice has that own place revive, you still get your revival. Beyond that, you also get an extra protect and you have to discard cards. But discarding cards isn't that big of a deal when you're running all of these draws. So bad bounty is pretty decent here. We're also running our five Zerov dragons because that's necessary for a geese deck. We are running two Lily because, you know, we have our denial play, but we don't even need the denial play. Sometimes you can just go, well, I pop something in my back row and now I revive this 25k as an interceptor. So you guard it once and now you guard it again of one card and one CB, which is really good. Then we have one mode, which just gets big. Sometimes you need it. One of the mill guy and then two Nora. Once again, Nora is even better in this deck because you can revive ghosty names, which I'll get at 5k shield as well. So where Nora usually caps out in regular grand blue at 15 plus 20 plus 10 you know in a, in a normal grand blue deck here you cap out at 15 plus 25 plus 25 again i think so 50 65 shield yeah 65 shield plus your 12 so you are a 77k vanguard on your nora in ideal situations i guess on stream we also tested the over trigger in this deck obviously i cut this because right now we don't have over triggers yet but if you want to cut something it would probably be one draw trigger that isn't the pg so just a ghosty draw trigger for that over trigger so that is the ghosty geese meme dream team laser beam it was really really fun to play i hope to play it again on stream sometimes if you want to check out the stream go to twitch.tv slash real solemn i will be playing all kinds of meme decks but very soon we'll also try some legit decks now of course tomorrow is thursday that is deck doctor day so there i will basically take decks from viewers and do with them what i want make some changes that i think are necessary maybe turn a v deck into a premium deck gonna be fun come check that out at nine brussels time like subscribe and i will see you soon ciao